Welcome back future EMTs. Today we're going to look at different places that we can find a pulse. So our least invasive spot to find a pulse is going to be our radial pulse. Our radial pulse is going to run along the radius. I always remember that it's my radial side because my thumb is rad. Other people remember it because the thumb rotates around the radius. We're going to look about two fingers below the crease in the wrist, two fingers below, and we'll feel that pulse. We want to feel with a gentle but firm pressure. We don't want to go too firm or we'll occlude the artery and we'll lose that pulse. We have our brachial pulse, which is going to be above the humerus and underneath the bicep. We also have our femoral pulse, which is going to be in the crease where the thigh and the hip meet, about midway between the midline and the side of the hip. That's our femoral pulse. Then we also have our pedal pulses. If you follow the second toe towards the top of the foot, about an inch below where the foot and the, the tibia meet at the top of the foot. The pedal pulses can be difficult to find. Once you find that pulse, a lot of times you want to put a mark where you found it so it's easy to come back to and find it again. We also have, can find the pedal pulse on the side of the medial malleolus. Find the medial malleolus and rotate your fingers below and behind that, you can find another pedal pulse. Once you find that pulse, again, you can put a mark where it is so you can come back to it. The last pulse we're gonna discuss is our carotid. We're gonna find the carotid midline on our patient and move our fingers into this soft crease. You can find it on either side of the neck. <clears throat> This is the last pulse we will lose as blood pressure drops. Our, blood, our pulses can be indicative of a blood pressure. Our bounding pulses can be indicative of a high systolic, and our weak thready pulses can be indicative of a low blood pressure. As a general baseline guide, we can lose these systolic pulses with our pedal pulse disappearing about 90 systolic, our radial disappearing around 80 systolic, our brachial disappearing around 70 systolic, our femoral disappearing around 60 systolic, and then our last systolic pulse to go is going to be our carotid around 50. Again, this is just a general guide for where we lose those pulses.